Like one year so after 2019 general elections, the election savvy men don't gather together for Lagos so as to fit ginger for a bigger eye inside waiting on Iboko electoral legal framework. As the INEC Chamo declared the meeting open, he can make them clear, say the commission get them from mind to put all hands together inside the suggestions of the 2019 Election Act Amendment Bill from the Senate Committee on INEC so as to make the polls the credible ahead of 2023. The Commission's input is not limited to the review proposed by the National Assembly. As election managers, we conduct elections. We also monitor pre-election activities such as party primaries and handle post-election processes, including the outcome of litigations. Therefore, we must, at this meeting, cast our nets wide by dissecting the Electoral Act in the light of experience and proposing wide-ranging amendments that will give the nation an electoral legal framework that can truly protect the choice of citizens and guarantee free, fair and credible elections. As Pasi Ondo and Edo state elections go swap for this year, November, the chairman Cho Yani say he no go happy at all at all in case any form of bege starts with the call electoral violence. For as long as violators of our electoral laws are not penalized, we'll continue to have issues with, the, with our elections. If you take a place like South Africa, for instance, they have what they, what they call the electoral courts. Violators are, are, are arrested and instantly prosecuted. But in our own case, committee after committee have recommended for the enactment of a law to set up the Electoral Offences Commission and Tribunal. And as it is hot, one of the Dagan agenda that the many collabos and get-togethers will go swap between INET and the Senate Committee will suppose start on the 5th of March. Mm-hmm.